In this segment, we're going to continue talking about using graphics mode to create embroidery. And specifically, we're going to talk about the Perfect Shapes tool. And that's found here on the left-hand side of the workspace. And if I fly that tool open, you'll see that there's several choices. So we have basic vector shapes, we've got arrow shapes, banner shapes, and callout shapes. So why don't I just go ahead and choose basic vector shapes. And right away, if I click and drag, you'll see that I could create, um, oh, I'm not even sure what you call this shape, pushed over a rectangle is called a trapezoid. Anyway, it's been a while since I went to school, hasn't it? Let's see, when you turn on this basic vector shapes tool, you'll notice here on the tool options that there's a small drop down window and you can choose from the different styles of perfect shapes. So we have, these are our options. Um, I'm gonna take a look. So for example, if you wanna make a little cross or a cylinder or a three dimensional box or a heart shape or a lightning bolt, why don't I create a lightning bolt? So I chose lightning bolt, chose the tool, and now I left click and drag and I create our lightning bolt. So those are the different styles of perfect shapes that you have. And remember, I have all these different options, so why don't I try uh, smiley face. So you can see. And now, uh, maybe one more time, we'll go with the teardrop. Great, so that's perfect shapes. Now, the next tool option was arrow shapes. And when I choose the arrow shapes option, I have a choice box for arrow shapes. So these are all of the different arrow shapes that I could create by just clicking and dragging. So now if I choose the choice and then I click and I drag, I get that arrow shape that we just created. And like I showed you, several different choices of arrow shapes to choose from. So I'll just create one more fancy arrow shape. So you see when I click and drag how I can control all of this. And of course, once you've created your arrow shape, um, I can zoom in, choose reshape, and then I have the ability to change the different parts of the shape of it based upon the nodes. All right, so let's take a look at, um, this one's called banner shapes. And when I go to banner shapes, and now my choice is styles of banner shapes. So why don't we choose this style for a banner shape? and click and drag to create a new banner. So you can choose the banner shape and then convert it to embroidery if you like. It's pretty much that simple. Um, on the banner shapes option, there was also, I guess, I guess this must be like, I don't know, um, the starburst. <laughs> it's just, I guess it's a banner. It's a, fan, a funny looking shape to me anyway, but it doesn't matter. Maybe it's gonna have filled in in yellow and it's gonna say you know only two dollars or you know, whatever so this is your ability to create predetermined vectorized shapes and the final option was the callouts and again just like all the other options once you choose the callout tool then you can change between the different styles of callouts and then you would just click and drag to create that callout and once you've created your callout if you want to convert it to embroidery, you simply select the object that you want to convert and click on this button to convert it to the selected graphics to embroidery, and there you have it. So you can see now that certainly my screen is a blend of embroidery, and if I hide the vectors, you can see these are the embroidery elements that I've created. Those are the vector elements. If I hide the embroidery elements, then I just see the vector elements. So that's the general process. You go to graphics mode, you create your graphics and then you convert them into stitches and once they're converted into stitches and you're back in your embroidery mode you can make any kind of modifications you want now I like the fact that so for example I just created this little um, what was it called again a call out or a shout out um, this one's still a vector and I can select it and modify it this one's not a selected vector anymore I've converted this vector into embroidery and it's no longer a vector and I can no longer select it or make modifications to it. So that's the um, basic vector shapes tool or the perfect vector shapes tool is really what it is and there's 
four different options on that toolbar that we have to choose to work with.